obviously changed my life in some ways for the better. I wouldn't say it's made my life, quality of life better, but I would say that I, I feel like I'm a, more of a rounded person, really, and a bit of a changed person, really, from um, when that initial uh, accident happened. Do you remember anything about the accident at all? Yeah, I remember it uh, very vividly. I remember seeing, seeing everybody around me. I, I hadn't recognise what the severity of the accident was uh, when, you, when you're playing rugby obviously you, you used to getting injured all the time and um, when I found myself lying in in, in Stone Mandeville after my accident um, then it sort of hit home the sort of severity of it I, I saw a lot of people around me who didn't have the support that I had, who didn't have the sort of family and the, and the friends and the rugby community behind them. And I thought, you've got to turn this into a positive. Um, you could go one way where you could sort of wallow in self-pity, but um, I, I felt that I needed to do something productive in my life and, and try and make a big impression on people. And you've achieved the most amazing things, haven't you? That's not easy to say. I feel that you know my life's obviously changed quite dramatically, and um, I've, I've got big aspirations for for. Uh, I'm, I'm always trying to push myself. I'm always trying to do something positive. Always trying to improve on my own situation and, and improve on um, the foundation as well, and make it a big success. Really. Um, so, what's your space really? <laughs> What are you most proud of in terms of what you've achieved? I don't know really. Um, it's not really for me to say, but I'm just really pleased with, with the way the foundation's gone and, and the, the amount of people that it's touched and the, the amount of um, people that we've helped, really. You've been able to help individuals in some of the most difficult circumstances. That must be rewarding as well, is it? It is very rewarding. It gives me sort of a, a boost, really, uh, to see people improving. And um, I think... It's, takes the emphasis off my own situation really by focusing on other people that's what it's all about the foundation now it's it's called the mams and foundation but it's it's not about me now it's bigger than that and it's about other people we want to get beneficiaries together we want to get their families together and we want to sort of make an impression on them and and help them to get busy living uh, and what about you i want to try and keep as active as possible uh, i think for not just for my physical well-being but also my mental well-being um I think that's really important and try and try and push myself as much as possible and who knows. You are the most inspirational person I've ever met and you're very humble, you won't say it about yourself but opportunity for you now to pay tribute to all those people around you from your family to everybody at the foundation who've been so supportive because you know they've, they've enabled you to do all this as well haven't they? Yeah absolutely, I've had tremendous backing especially from the Leicester Tigers and the, and the, and the rugby community. Everybody supported me and it just means so much and it enables me to do what I do every day and it's made the foundation what it is today.